minutes, but TL are focusing the Nexus Towers. They can smell the next round of the playoffs, and they're gonna take it. Three to one is the series. TL will advance in the lower. As soon as I took off my headset, yeah, I just like, I, I just felt pretty hopeless. I was a little bit angry because losing is always feeling bad. Uh, I think that was probably like the first time I actually cried, in, like a really long time. When we didn't perform to the level that I wanted us to, I was pretty pissed off. And yeah, I just didn't want to go out the way we did. I've never seen a team like this because after we lose, we were laughing and we said like, um, we tried our best and we have a bunch of things of, to improve. Yeah, all good. All good. All We have next split. All good. <laughs> next split. Next split. We'll make it to Worlds, guys. Yeah. We... I think also just in general versus Team Liquid, we were a bit directionless, and I think they showed a bit more cohesion as a team. And I think that we also didn't have that great of a day of performance. It did feel a little bit better, but Team Liquid ended up winning it all and even doing a decent showing at MSI. But it definitely gives the tangible feeling that if we just played a bit better and did a couple things differently, we're definitely in a place to compete for the top of the league. boot camp. Um, from last season, we always had this coffee penalty. If you're more than two minutes late, you order coffee for the team. It's currently one minute until due time. We're missing Meech and Sniper. So we're going to go try to find the most expensive coffee we can around here. Wow. You're on time. Wow. Holy crap. No coffee. Did you run here? Yeah, no coffee. They got here, one walked up the stairs, one went through the elevator. And they just got here the same time. I'm quite surprised, I'm not gonna lie. No one late on day one. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do... So a typical day of practice at the FearX boot camp has looked like we get to the office around 11.45 a.m. We eat lunch at noon till one. We get a solo queue warm-up game in. We scrum from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Typically then a lot of us go to the gym in between the two blocks. We have a break until 7 p.m. And then from seven to 10 o'clock, we have our second scrim block. From 10.15 to like 3, 4 a.m., I'm just playing solo queue with normally Quinn and Meech because they're the latest ones here. Yeah, we've been trying to get everyone to go to bed at uh, around 2 a.m., but we had an off day and I know some players stayed up till 8 a.m. Oh, wait, now that I think about it, actually, uh, me, Quinn, and Meech have been staying up until like 1.30. Definitely not 3 or 4 o'clock, you know? My soul. Yeah, you're choking, man, I swear. Mm. Click them together and then close your eyes and then, wait, what did she say? Wait, what? Hey, mine are dirty, because like, I wear them everywhere. You guys can see, we don't have that many days. It's only 10 total scrims while we're here and 16 days at the boot camp. So let's try to make the most out of every day and just get the most value, because we're not going to be here for that long. Dragon, like playing for midway, even when they're playing for midway. Quality, scrims fighting, have been at least results-wise, not the best. We win against some challenger teams, but I don't think we've consistently beat them. So, been a bit back and forth, but I think the big thing is, I feel like we're getting a lot of learning done. In spring season, I was IGR, but right now, Beer tried like more comps, so it's really helpful for me. So basically, after our first split, I think we realized we needed somebody else communicating in-game and leading besides just River. And we've been really pushing Ayla, um, aka Billy, to shot call more in-games, make more decisions, and kind of just be more of an in-game leader. And like, it doesn't, it doesn't help. Oh, it doesn't help? Yeah. Okay, so should I just like... Oh. like the home for shot calling is, guys, like, let's, let's look for a fight, you know? But we're, we're not looking for fight, just provide information. Okay. Uh, I mean, Ella's honestly been like, he's not afraid to like call me out on just like, just anything in general, you know? Especially when I'm playing bad. And I think he's been showing a lot of improvement in practice. And I look forward to seeing like what his potential is as a in-game leader and shot caller. Ah! Yeah! 
Uh, another really fun thing about this uh, boot camp trip is that we've had a ping pong table and I've been wanting to play ping pong so much. Quit it! You played so much better than Sam. You're going easy on me, I think. No, I'm not very good, but... Oh! Oh my god, Herbert! I think... I'm better than Snapper and Mitch. Oh, uh, the ping pong matches, I don't even want to talk about them, honestly. There was this one time where I played against Grayson, we bet 50 bucks on whoever's gonna win, and I even started with seven points, and he still somehow beat me. No! Oh! Oh! Wait. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah I, ping pong definitely isn't for me. It's just league. I'm a league one trick. Okay, this focus put all right. What's up, Sammy? Oh, shoot. What's up, we we freaking on these kids? We're so tanky. I think as a team, we've spent basically the first week kind of getting back on the same page together. And from a performance on the day one to maybe like day five or day six of scrams has already been a really big improvement. We've been scrimming a lot of Korean challenger teams while we've been here. Um, and it's been interesting because I think they have different champion pools and they're also more willing to try like different picks, but it's been fun to practice against them and get to see a larger variety of, of uh, strategies. In order to, beco to become a really good team, you just have to be like coordinated with the team and you have to have really good synergy. You can feel everyone trying to change and be better, so even though the results of our scrims might not be good right now, I can feel it getting better. Uh, I may be like smiling in front of all the cameras when I'm like playing on stage or whatever it is, but like in the inside, I I'm like really harsh on myself and I, I really, really, really want to get to the next level. Um, like no matter what kind of sand it's in my way. Is this like this entire room you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Like Seven laps and then you can have the can. Come on. There's a cut there. Every time you get back here, say something you need to improve at. Sure. I need to improve on my mental from time to time. I need to improve on becoming the best version of myself. I need to improve on freaking beating Grayson again in that 1v1 ping pong battle. I need to improve on freaking climbing solo queue. Three more laps. I need to improve on nothing because I'm the best. I need to improve on uh, my mid to leg game. What, what do I need to improve on? I need to improve on being a better person. I don't know. Lane swaps. I need to improve, improve on lane swaps. Yeah. I also need to improve on doing legs instead of just biceps every single day. Yeah, okay. Hey, good, good one. Good job. Good workout. There. Enjoy that little peach drink. That's, that's on the house. From the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the house. Thank you guys. Mitch is absolutely you. me. Uh, I guess we didn't. We didn't really set a time. Um, I just expected everyone to be here by 8 p.m. <laughs> I thought that was early enough. Uh, my players surprise me every day. <laughs> we are going to have dinner with my parents tonight. This, this time is first time to meet with each other. Wait, should I shake Chris Long's hand? I don't know. This time for to do that. You guys can fix the schedule as if we scrim every day. Do they have set menu? Yeah. <laughs> Your family is very wholesome, baby. Wholesome? Wholesome. Wholesome? Wholesome. <laughs> I think, I think. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. That deep. Brave and very tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yep. Give me Yeah, so this is what uh, Quid's brother gave, it, gave to me. It's basically just like a ring. And I just put it around my necklace, so it's very, very nice of him. Very grateful for this. Sheesh, look at that. I'm all dripped out now. Oh yeah, now we're back to Baskin Robbins again, so hopefully none of us drop our ice cream. Yeah, that's that's the plan. So we just got back from Korea a couple days ago and the trip was honestly a pretty good learning experience. At the end of the boot camp, uh, we had really serious talk as a team. Uh, we talked what's wrong, what's mad for everyone. Now I feel a lot better. So our first match is against NRG and 
We beat them in playoffs last time 3-2, and I'm confident we'll definitely do it again. And Team Liquid, I haven't forgotten about what you did to us in playoffs. And honestly, you better watch your back. Uh, I really wanna beat Team Liquid and Flycast. After that, I wanna win LCS. We're gonna kick some butts, and we're gonna win LCS. And after that, I promise you we're gonna make a good showing at Worlds. I will do everything I can to make worlds. They're gonna drop the ulti here. River's here, but Contract is here as well. They're both gonna be incredibly low. And Dope is gonna go forward. There's a flash to follow from River. And he takes some dig from Sniper. And Contract may have bitten off more than he can swallow too. But Quinn is in the back line wreaking havoc. Palafox is on the run. There's the bailout, but it'll do nothing. Sniper arrived, jumps in. FBI is gone. Finish him off. Sniper low on health. Pathmaker forward. Gonna be able to flip back one. Meech is down. It's up to FBI though. Quinn is piling through. The resets are here. And energy are wiped off the map. It's a triple for Quinn.